Great question here from Ben Jones. He wants to know, do you have any good stories about referee Mike Kyoto? Good stories? No. Oh, just bad stories? No, I'll tell you, I, got, I have a great one about Kyoto. And I'm trying to picture where the hell we were. I mean, I can picture it perfectly. I just don't know what the building was. But um, one day, we are working. And all of a sudden, backstage, our power goes out. And I was like, what the hell is that? It's like, well, did we flip a breaker? Did we blow something or, or what have you? Because all this shit's on it. You know, what what we were getting our power from and what was the power source was our own generator. So it wasn't like, and it was a, it was a generator that was plugged into the, unit but it was a generator then that you could plug everything else into it's not going to overload and you don't have all these different uh power sources and we're like everybody's going nuts like, what the hell what the hell we go back to look at the generator and we see that it has been unplugged and in place of the plug is a phone charger with a phone attached to it so someone had unplugged my God. The power supply backstage to plug in their phone to charge it. My God. So I took the phone. I took the charger. Plugged back our power back in and looked at the phone and saw whose phone it was. And it was one Mike Kyoto. Who definitely, oh. should, who definitely should have known better. So I let everyone know, oh. don't say a word. But when Kyoto comes back in looking for his charger and his phone, let him know that I have it and he needs to come and find me. So while holding on to the phone, somebody might have suggested, hey, you going to really teach him a lesson. Change the language on his phone. Oh, goodness gracious. So we went through, and I think we might have accidentally deleted all of his contacts. I don't remember if, if we actually did that. That was suggested. But his phone might have got changed over to French or German or something like that. Something he didn't speak, clearly. Clearly. So when Mike went in to get his phone, he was like, what the fuck? Who the fuck? And they go, uh, hey man, you might want to go talk to Bruce. Why, why do I? Why do I gotta talk to Bruce? He has your phone, dude. And then they're explaining to him what happened. So now he's shitting bricks, and yeah. he's already gotten back to me, man. He's shitting bricks. He's terrified to come and talk to you. Well, so if he wants his phone, he's gonna have to come find me. Oh. And I'm not gonna go look for him because he fucked up my backstage shit. It's. Yeah, he can come find me. So he comes and finds me, and I give him this thing. So, Mike, do you realize what you did? I mean, I mean seriously, the fucking arrogance. I mean, I, what makes you think that you can just unplug the backstage power so you can conveniently put your phone on charge near your bag? Go charge it somewhere else. Go find an outlet that isn't being used and use that. There are plenty of them around. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. I said, but seriously, how fucking stupid is that? Wow. You're I know. I know. Oh, God. I, I, dude, he unplugged the entire fucking backstage power source. He didn't know. Okay. If you see a giant plug and or you see a plug and it's got a giant plug in it in the outlet, you don't just go and unplug shit when you don't know what it is. You don't? No, you don't. Sometimes you do. That's a pro tip. Do not do that, folks. Okay, that's a stupid thing to do. Lessons were learned today. And that's uh, what I do. Um, so I gave him his phone back. And I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. Thank you. And so he goes away. And <laughs> I don't know how long it took. But it wasn't long. 
And he came back and goes, what happened to my phone? It's it's like in some foreign language. I'm, I don't know, dude. Because I because I didn't do it because I have no idea how to do that. So someone else had done that part. Um, and I'm like, I, dude, I don't know. And you know who did it? Oh yeah, I knew who did it. Yeah, but he didn't ask me who did it. He thought I did right. it, and I was not lying to him when I told him I did not do that. And I have absolutely no clue how to undo it. But maybe a good idea. Never unplug shit and plug your shit. Into <laughs> I said, "Watch." Uh, I said, uh, uh, and I might have suggested he go to his contact list and call somebody that might know. And then he realized his contacts were gone. Wow. So, dude, I mean, come on. There's lessons to be learned here sometimes. Sometimes they're harsh. But, you know, shit happens. If you had done that to Jim Cornette, what would that have sounded like? Motherfucker, I'm going to kill somebody. Oh, he'd have been swinging his fucking tennis racket. You kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. He he would have first thing he would have done is put his phone down and beat the shit out of his phone <laughs> with a tennis racket, and then go swinging at everybody else. Eric wants to know: Will but, we ever? Get- but I also have confidence that Corny wouldn't have been stupid enough to unplug the main power source backstage and plug his shit in. I would hope. Well, he didn't do it intentionally. The level of stupidity associated with that. Oh, come on now. No, come on. What? Come on now. Just saying. You think that's okay? No, it was an accident. I'm going to come to your house. I'm going to disconnect your whole home generator. And then I'm going to blow some fuses. And see how you like it. I'm going to plug my phone in. (laughs) (laughs) In its place. But if yeah. I change your I'm gonna context, go in and, I'm going to go in and get in your. I'm sad. I don't even know how to do that shit. So I, no, I, you don't. 